All right. All right. So what we're doing here today is going to be just some easy, simple uh, techniques to help calm down the nervous system when uh, stress gets overwhelming, when, when life gets overwhelming. Um, and these are just techniques, uh, real simple to use, something you can even do in the car as you, before you go into work. Uh, you know, as you're, before you walk back in the house, take a moment to um, kind of uh, calm the nervous system down and you know, recharge a bit, uh, you know, before you go into a meeting, um, before you, an you know, uh, before you answer a phone call, before maybe you make a phone call. And I'm gonna show you three techniques that are super simple uh, to do. Um, and uh, if you wanna write them down even, um, but we'll, I'll show you, I'll go through the basic process and then we can even spend a few minutes doing them together. And then I'm gonna do a longer process that you can just allow your body to relax so you can move into the weekend with, uh, you know, a recharged nervous system. And I, I think what, what's really important about learning this stuff and learning these techniques is, is they work and they have the scientific backing behind them. Um, it's so important nowadays even to make sure you're taking time each day to do this recharge. We're, you know, here in America, uh, maybe in the most of the uh, industrial world, uh, we are doers. And, um, and so we think if we aren't doing something, we're not being productive. And, um, and this and this and this is why this pro these processes these techniques are so odd maybe feeling and maybe they get put down at the bottom of the list is because they feel like you're not the doing and and that's the um, you know misnomer around all this is that the stress response is a very important response within our bodies it helps us keep a, it keeps us safe it keeps us alive. You know, we've seen the um, videos of fire in California or, or uh, in Australia and last year. And, you know, people driving their families through fire or they're hiding under bridges in a, in a stream as the fire rampages their ranch. People in natural disasters, people, uh, you know, there's a woman uh, who's uh, out in um, Colorado, Placerville, Colorado, about, uh, I think, 2014, and she is out hiking by herself in the beautiful mountains, Colorado, and she is being stalked by a mountain lion. And the mountain lion would even like, you know, uh, pounce out in front of her on the trail. And uh, she was an amateur opera singer. And so she started singing opera at the top of her lungs and scared, scared the mountain lion enough that she could run the other way and got back to the trailhead and, and to people into safety. But I guarantee you she was in the stress response. It's a funny story, but she was in the stress response as she needed to be because what the stress response does, you get that fear within your head. The mind starts having fearful thoughts, anxious thoughts, and it creates adrenaline. It creates cortisol uh, and neurotransmitters in your brain. Your, neur your neurons are firing. Um, your neurons are firing and uh, these... Uh, create neurotransmitters or adrenaline cortisol, which starts flooding your bloodstream, gets pumped around your body through your, uh, by your heart. And that's allowing these different processes to open up, including putting, moving 300% more blood to your big muscles of your arms to fight, the big muscles of your legs to escape. And the stress response, this is an auxiliary system, a very important system, but an auxiliary system. Therefore, it doesn't have its own power source, if you will. So it needs to pull, um, it needs to pull the power from somewhere else. So what it does is it pulls the power from the bigger systems of your body, the immune system, the digestive system. And that's fine for an in-the-moment, life-threatening situation. Uh, no need to fight the common cold. Uh, no need to, you know, hey, no, no need to fight cancer. Uh, when your life is being threatened. Uh, no need to digest that sandwich. No need to fall in love uh, when your life is threatened. And it's great. It's a great system and it works perfectly when used appropriately. But in day-to-day -day life, as we live here in the United States or you know, probably around the industrial Western world, we create this stress 
through just daily living, family issues, uh, elderly parents, maybe uh, young kids, teenage kids, um, you know, illness and and um, just work and the phone calls and the emails and the text messages. And this is creating this cortisol and this adrenaline to be flooding through our bodies and pulling uh, energy and power away from the immune system. Now, there was a study done uh, and was uh, the, put in the Journal of uh, Clinical Psychology. And in this study, they looked at medical and dental students who are going through final exams. So these kids are pretty stressed. And these are what, 26, 27 year olds, they're in, they're in medical school. Uh, so these, these are healthy young people. And they broke them up in two groups. One group was uh, just went through that stressful situation as one does. Uh, the other group, they actually taught self-hypnosis techniques like the ones I'm gonna show you today. And of course, you know, they're doing the saliva test so they can measure uh, you know, cortisol and adrenaline levels and stress response. And what they found was that the students who just went through that stressful situation, and again, it's not life-threatening, it's a drag because it's final exams, you gotta stay up late and, and cram and, and finish up papers and, and what have you, but it's not life-threatening. But these healthy young people are going through this stressful situation and they found that their T-cell count decreased by 24%. Now T cells are super important because these are the cells, these are the attack cells, the warrior cells. These are the cells that go after cancer cells. These are cells that go after viruses and bacteria. And healthy people just going through a regular uh, stressful, non-life-threatening stressful situation, their T cell count dropped by 24%. Now the same students who are, you know, at the same, same place, at the same time doing the same thing, going through the same experience, they were taught these self-hypnosis practices their T cell level count increased by 2%. Now, you know, they have that base level where they start at. The stressed students decreased 24%. The um, uh, students who learned the self-hypnosis techniques increased, um, uh, they increased uh, 2%. And they continue to increase uh, the more they practiced on their own. And so this has a, a a cumulative, uh, what is that? A cumulative interest, compounding interest. You learned in math class back in high school when you have, um, you know, a hundred dollars. Put a hundred dollars in every month for five years when you're 18, and then you just leave it alone. And you know, whatever. When you're 65, you have a million dollars because it just keeps compounding. Same, same with this situation. The more you um, practice these. Um, the more you practice this, the stronger your immune system is going to become because you're putting more power into it. You're turning off that stress response, the uh, uh, sympathetic nervous system, and you're moving back into the relaxation response, the parasympathetic nervous system, where you're supposed to be, you know, what, 90% of the time. Again, the stress response is an auxiliary system that's only supposed to be turned on when your life is threatened, like you're walking through the forest, you're being stalked by a mountain lion, you're going through a natural disaster, you're driving your fire through, uh, driving your family through fire like uh, in California or Australia or wherever it's going on in your life. Uh, it's not to be used for just day-to-day -day living. So these processes I'm going to show you uh, will help move out of stress response into relaxation response. The first two I'm going to show you um, the first two I'm going to show you, uh, and I'm sorry, I keep letting people in, I'm getting distracted. Um, uh, the first two I'm going to show you, uh, are just take three, four, five minutes. Again, something as I, I told, uh, I was talking at the beginning, these are things you can just do while you're sitting in a car before you walk into work, before you walk into a store, before you walk back into the house after a, a really bad day at work, let's say. Um, and kind of re, resettle yourself, re, uh, recharge yourself. And uh, again, if you're, if you're just joining us, uh, you know, maybe grab a, a piece of paper and a, a pencil to just kind of write down the titles and, and maybe a quick how to do them, but they're super simple. And it's all, it, all we're doing is we're going to move the nervous system out of the stress response and into the relaxation response, out of the sympathetic and back in the parasympathetic nervous systems. And 
Uh, I don't think I actually introduced myself. I just kind of started talking around 8.59. So um, my name is Craig Merriweather. Uh, I'm a hypnotherapist. Uh, I'm, uh, I do uh, stuff all over Zoom, uh, as we've all been doing over the last uh, however many months it's been. Uh, I actually live up here in Flagstaff, uh, beautiful Flagstaff. Um, but I've uh, been doing Zoom. You know, I did a workshop uh, about a month ago. I had people from Copenhagen, Denmark, and, and England. And it's uh, been amazing and fabulous working with people in uh, New York and Las Vegas and California and all sorts of things. It's, it's been amazing and weird and strange, but I appreciate you all being here. And uh, if you ever have any questions, I'm going to actually put my information um, over in the chat box. Uh, if you ever have any questions, I'll just put my email address. Um, any questions at all, I love to talk about this stuff. So what we're going to do is a couple processes right now. Uh, it'll take about maybe seven, eight minutes. won't take long at all. But I just want to give you a, a basic rundown of how they how these processes go. Then we're going to do a bit of a longer process. And, uh, and you know, this is be a time for you to just sit and relax, uh, find a comfy chair, find a recliner or a couch or a, a bed you can maybe relax on and allow your, your body to detense, to de-stress, to allow your, your muscles to, to relax. This is something I'm finding because basically all hypnosis is um, there's a lot of baggage around there where, but all hypnosis is is deep relaxation. And a lot of people have just forgotten or have never learned how to relax. And uh, my wife's a massage therapist and she, we talk about this all the time. And there's, you know, people have not had either the training or taken the time to just go through muscle by muscle and just relax the muscles. And the you know this tension this stress can become habitual chronic stress that's what it's called the um because whenever we you know perform an action like bringing a spoon to our mouth or walking or driving we're firing neurons in our head and the more we fire those neurons they'll 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 create a pattern neural pathway and the more you perform it the stronger and faster that pathway gets that's how habits get formed you ever watch a 12 month old uh, learning to walk uh, it's very clunky uh, a lot of weight distribution, but they practice, practice, and now you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think left foot, right foot. You don't have to think about bringing a spoon to your mouth, brushing your teeth. These become automatic habits, but and it's because you're firing neurons in the same part of the brain at the same time, they form a pathway. But you also fire neurons uh, whenever you think a thought or feel an emotion. So emotions can become habitual, become automatic, they can become habits. Uh, thoughts, thinking processes can become automatic habits. And, uh, but you have the power, you have the ability, you have the right to change and do things differently. And so that's what we're going to learn how to do today. Um, start learning these processes of moving the body to be in the, to the habit of being in the relaxation response. Um, so let's do this first one right now. And I'm just going to explain it. It's fairly simple. It's called three, two, one, reset. Uh, I'm going to put that in the chat room. Just uh, three, two, one, reset. And it's very simple. Three deep breaths in. Deep breathing is super important to all relaxation because your body, uh, when you're in the stress response, you shallow breathe. You have a tendency to shallow breathe. You want that quick uh, inhalation and exhale uh, of oxygen and uh, uh, carbon dioxide. And so you kind of shallow breathe when you're in stress response. Deep breathing is a signal to your body that you are safe, you are secure, you're calm, in a, in a calm situation, and you can start to relax. Deep breathing is super important. So that's three, three deep breaths. The two is you're gonna take your two arms. I don't know if you can see me, I'll see how your video is off. So, you take your two arms and give yourself a, a self hug. And uh, not only this, first off is giving you bilateral stimulation. That's a fancy word for whole brain uh, connection, whole brain learning. You see uh, kids in elementary school doing brain gym and doing all sorts of exercises to get both sides of their brain working. Uh, but you know, the right uh, 
side of your brain uh, is, is controlling the left side of the body. The left side of the brain is controlling the right side of the body. So you cross, you kind of get this connection. So cross both arms, give yourself a self hug, and you can even, you know, maybe do a little tapping, a little emotional freedom technique uh, on your arms. Uh, you can even do uh, rubbing, rub up and down, give yourself a nice nurturing hug. And what this is doing, it's only giving you that, that um, bilateral stimulation. It's creating oxytocin, it's creating dopamine, it's creating serotonin. You are changing the chemistry of your body. And again, super important because, you know, whenever you, you know, think a thought or feel an emotion, you are firing those neurons. The more you do this, the stronger that pathway becomes. So then this becomes the habit, the habit of oxytocin, uh, oxytocin the uh, habit of dopamine, the habit of serotonin. One is uh, you do this for about one minute. And, you know, when, once you take those three deep breaths, cross your arms, uh, cross your two arms, and then for about one minute, just be calm, be silent. You know, focus on your breathing, be mindful. So let's do that right now. So. Cross your arms, and we're gonna again. If you if it feels comfortable to you, you can rub your arms up and down. Uh, maybe do a little tapping, and just when you're ready, take three slow, easy, gentle, deep breaths in. Inhaling peace and tranquility. On the inhale, and with each exhale, you're releasing and letting go. Three deep breaths, two arms crossed. I'll spend a minute in quiet. Silence. If it's helpful, you focus on your breathing. Put your awareness on your breathing, or if you're an auditory person, and maybe you're hearing birds outside, or slight breeze through the trees, or Find your thoughts wander to ruminating about the past or about the future. Just bring your attention back to your breath, your breathing, feeling your lungs inhaling and exhaling. All right. When you're ready, you can just return to this present moment. You can have your eyes closed. You can open them. Uh, that's a super, super simple process. Again, something you can do in your car before you walk into work or as a big meeting or if you have to make that phone call or, you know, after that long, long day and you're about to walk back into the house and the family, something you do is just reset yourself, resettle, resettle, resettle yourself. Again, the deep breathing signals your body that you're safe and you can move in the parasympathetic nervous system. That just calm and that quiet moving into that inner stillness starts to reset your immune system, your digestive system, just moving more energy and uh, power, if you will, back to your prefrontal cortex. Uh, in the stress response, more energy moves to your limbic system, your emotional brain. This is why people text their boss those uh, horrible things or their loved ones because they're not thinking straight, they're not thinking clearly. All, you know, a lot of uh, power has moved away from the logical thinking brain, the intellect. And so, uh, you know, someone was saying, um, uh, who was that? I think it's Dave Elman was saying, um, or Milton Erickson was saying that uh, when the intellect and 
emotions are in conflict. Emotions will win every time. And, you know, what neuroscientists are telling us is that the brain, uh, you know, have left side, right side, left brain is mathematics and language. Uh, right brain is more creative side of things. And, of course, then there's mind. Conscious mind and subconscious mind. What neuroscientists are telling us is that conscious mind makes up only 5%. So what we're doing right now, listening uh, to, to get onto Zoom, to, to get onto the Internet, all this conscious mind stuff you've been doing, uh, that's only 5% of mind. 95, 97% of mind is subconscious. So it's that automation, that, that automatic uh, processes throughout your body, be, beating your heart, breathing your lungs, um, digestive immune system, things we don't have to think about, but also things uh, that we have practiced over and over again. Walking, riding a bike, driving a car, a spoon to your mouth, brushing your teeth. These have all become automatic habits put in the subconscious mind. But again, Anything that you do over and over again, including the thoughts that you think and the emotions you feel are becoming automatic habits and put in that 97% subconscious emotional side of your mind. And when the intellect and the emotions are in conflict, emotions will win every time. And that's why, uh, you know, the intellect is only taken up about 5% of your mind. And so doing these processes, moving back into that parasympathetic nervous system is so important. Uh, we're going to do another uh, self-hypnosis exercise. This one's called 468. Uh, you know, I'm just going to put it in the chat room. 468. And what this is, is breathing again, deep breathing, breathing in on a, on a four count, exhaling on a six count. And you just really want to uh, expel all that air out of your system, breathe back in deeply. Again, a deep breathing is a signal to your body you're safe and you can be in the relaxation response. Four, six, eight, this is more, uh, can maybe a, a left brain kind of exercise to remember, but just do it right now. You just sit comfortably in your chair. Again, this is something you do in your car, something you do uh, in your office, at your desk, before a meeting, before a phone call, before Zoom. You just breathe in to the count of four. And then exhale, count of six. You do that eight times. All right, and when you're ready, you just turn to this moment, return to your room you are in. They've closed, you can open your eyes. And this is more of a left brain technique. And yes, these are super simple. These are just life hacks. These are brain hacks. Deep breathing, uh, people tell you to do that all the time. Why don't you just take a deep breath? And they say it sarcastically or annoyingly or irritatingly, but there's a lot of truth to that. Deep breathing helps your body move into the relaxation response. Super important. Again, just that counting, up, counting up to four, counting down to six, has a, a physiological response and expelling all that air so you can get fresh, clean oxygen into your, into your lungs uh, and deep into your lungs, into the bottom of your lungs. But it also has that kind of left brain activity of counting, uh, which is helpful. Um, if you're more of a mathematics uh, language kind of person. So now what I want to do uh, for about the next 20 minutes or so is um, I want to do just a relaxation process, take you through what it is to go into hypnosis. Again, hypnosis is just deep, natural relaxation. It is the slowing down of brainwave state. Not unlike meditation, if you do yoga or have ever been to yoga class, Savasana at the end of a uh, yoga class, that corpse pose where you're just lying on your back, relaxing deeply. That's the state of hypnosis. It's got a lot of baggage, that word, but it, you do it at least twice a day as you're falling asleep and as you're waking up, moving into this deep relaxation and moving out, just brainwave state. 
if uh, you're familiar with uh, the the uh, names of the different brainwave states, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Beta is, you know, if you're listening to me and and or you're in a meeting or communicating with somebody, you're in a beta state or you're firing about 11, 15 cycles per second in terms of your neurons firing little electrical pulses. As you maybe start daydreaming out the window, you're bored in math class back in high school and you start daydreaming out the window, uh, you're moving down to alpha. As you're kind of nodding your head and your eyes are starting to close and getting so heavy because the math, math teacher is so boring, uh, you're moving down to theta. If thing, something doesn't happen quickly, you're going to fall asleep, you're going to be down in delta. But the math teacher's, Craig, why don't you come up to the board and do the problem for us? Well, now I've moved back up into beta, maybe even high beta, 30 cycles per second uh, when I'm in a stress response because I haven't been paying attention. So just move down in the meditative hypnosis state and back up just in a matter of minutes during math class. So something you know we do all day long, naturally, getting lost in a good book or you know getting absorbed in a movie or listening to music or just daydreaming out the window you know these this is just the meditative hypnagogic trance state is the fancy official term so if you can find a comfortable place to to be um, where you can relax and get comfortable whether that's a recliner or maybe a couch or if you're in uh, lying, uh, lying on your bed or sitting on your bed, and we can begin to relax deeply and rest soundly. You make yourself comfortable as you move through this process for the next you know, 15 or 20 minutes. We can deeply relax, recharge, reboot our nervous system. And maybe you're familiar with or you can recall times when you've been very relaxed, a really cozy, comfortable sense of well-being and rest. Blood flows around the body, bringing healthy warmth to your hands and feet. Your mind feels clear. And this relaxing, healing energy starts to flow throughout your whole body. And your body and mind start to strengthen and function better when you relax as your muscles start to feel loose, limp, and very comfortable. And even your eyes begin to feel relaxed and comfortable, feeling heavier and heavier, like in times when you really want nothing more in that moment than to close your eyes. So if you haven't yet, you can allow yourself to gently close them now, relaxing your eyelids fully and completely as they feel heavier and heavier, relaxing so much that they just won't work. And you now send that relaxation you have around your eyes, all around your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, that deep rest flowing all over. As your mind and body drift into deep, natural healing, relaxation. And sometimes you'll find you're relaxing deeply to the sound of my words, and sometimes you'll be experiencing even deeper comfort in the spaces between my words. And if you come so still as your body and mind settle down, it begins to feel so calm and comfortable safe and secure. So enter into, hip, into hypnosis, to enter into your hypnosis. Become aware of your breathing as you take slow, easy, gentle, deep breaths in. You inhale through your nose, maybe hold the breath for a moment and exhale slowly through your mouth. Your body moves even deeper in healing relaxation. With each inhalation, you're breathing in peace and becoming more relaxed. With each inhalation, you inspire, motivate, enliven. 
With each exhale, you release, let go, clear and clean. Your muscles start to feel loose and limp, calm and comfortable, heavier and heavier. And your attention starts to slowly, easily and gently drift inwards and you relax more and more now. That's it. And as these warm, soothing feelings move throughout your whole body, your body begins to feel heavier and heavier, your breathing becomes more even. And everything starts to renew and rejuvenate as the body and mind rests in this peaceful state of hypnosis. And now to go even deeper, relaxed, and become even more responsive to positive healing ideas, think about relaxation coming into your scalp forehead and facial muscles. You are at ease and you begin to feel a great wave of peace flow over you. Imagine a warm, relaxing feeling moving into your neck. Think about all your neck muscles becoming loose and limp. Now, slowly, gently move warm relaxation into your shoulders and down into your arms. Imagine you are resting. Your body feels loose and very comfortable. Imagine your muscles turning loose and limp, relaxing more and more. Your shoulders, arms, and hands are becoming pleasantly warm and relaxed. Move the comfortable, relaxing sensation down your back. Imagine now, just imagine, sense, and feel that you're Sending the warm, relaxing feeling into all the muscles of your back. Picture all your back muscles loosening and relaxing now. Yes, that's right. You're becoming more deeply relaxed and at peace now. Send the warm relaxation down into your hips and legs. Slowly, easily, and gently. Imagine the relaxing sensation melting away any tension. As a warm, relaxing feeling moves down, down into your legs. Send the relaxation down past your ankles now and into your feet. Your feet and toes are becoming warm, relaxed, and comfortable now. Your subconscious mind is receptive and ready to act upon positive healing ideas. Just being in this hypnotic relaxation is healing for you. Enjoy this pleasant time as your body restores itself. And now to go even deeper, relax deeper into your hypnosis and become even more responsive to positive healing ideas. I'm going to count from five down to one. And as I do, you can become even more relaxed and serene. With each number, you'll go deeper and deeper into your hypnosis. And when I reach the number one, just into your place of peace and serenity and be deeply relaxed. Five. 
down, down deeper, deeper, relax. Four, down, down deeper, deeper, relax. Three, going down deeper, deeper, relax. Two, going down deeper, deeper, relax. And one, one, one. doubling your relaxation as you enter a peaceful state of hypnosis. These warm, soothing feelings moving throughout your whole body. Your breathing becomes more even and everything starts to renew and rejuvenate. As your body and mind rest and rejuvenate and renew in this peaceful state of hypnosis, And now imagine, sense, and feel going to a mystical place, a magical place, a place where you can make perfect, positive lifestyle changes. Go to a mystical place, a magical place, a place where you can make perfect, positive lifestyle changes. This place is just for you. And you're the only one here, and you feel safe and secure. Calm and comfortable. And imagine, just imagine, sense and feel a powerful healing light coming from up above. This beautiful healing light comes down and covers you completely as if you were contained in a cozy, comfortable cocoon of healing light, a cylinder of healing light. It warms you. You become even more comfortable and restful. This healing light reminds you to have infinite supply of wisdom and love working through you now. You think about that light moving down into your scalp, into your head, rinsing away any and all limiting ideas and beliefs about yourself, others, and the world around you. This healing light moves into your neck and shoulders and you become aware of a quiet calmness and a restful relaxation more and more now. Move the warm and relaxing healing light down into your arms, hands and fingers now. Pure healing light relaxing you now. And now move the warm, relaxing energy into your chest, abdomen, and all through your back. Just breathe normally and feel yourself relaxing as you think about healing energy, this healing light filling you now. Move the warm and relaxing healing light down through your hips and into your legs. Warm and relaxing. This calm and comfort fills your hips and legs now, moving down into your ankles, this healing light moving down into your feet and toes. Let's become warm and relaxed, calm and comfortable. Think about yourself glowing with this healing light, being freed from the past. And these Ideas make a positive impression on your creative intelligence, your subconscious mind now. This is the truth about you. You make a beautiful life by remaining calm, relaxed, confident, and happy. 
you choose to live your expression of your life as your calm, confident, loving self. Day by day, in every way, you're becoming more and more confident and at peace with yourself and the world around you. It's okay to take care of yourself. And every day you express your highest ideals with your words and actions. Confidence and love for what you do fills you each and every day. Day by day in every way, you're becoming the best version of yourself. You treat yourself with the love, kindness, and compassion that you give to others. You now breathe smoothly, easily, and gently because it is safe to be alive. You make a beautiful life by remaining calm, relaxed, confident, and happy. It's okay to take care of yourself. You are in control. You're safe and secure, calm and comfortable, confident and relaxed. More and more every day, you are compassionate and patient with yourself. The moment you notice a limiting and undesirable quality in yourself and others, you replace it with something that is positive, attractive, healing, and beautiful. Because this is the action and attitude that makes the most sense to you now. You are in the right place at the right time and you feel confident that you can handle whatever comes your way. You accept yourself as worthy, confident, and lovable. Day by day in every way, you stand strong in your own space. You use the power of your mind to stay positive, focused, focusing on productive, effective healing solutions. You are calm, powerful, and strong. You are creating the wonderful life you want, and you're proud of yourself for doing so. Each and every breath you take brings more confidence, strength, and power. You feel confident, peaceful, safe, and secure, and you can easily handle whatever comes your way. And because you nourish your body with healthy food and clean water, you are mentally clear focused and more energized than ever, ever before because this is the action that makes the most sense to you now. You listen to your body and acknowledge the signals you are getting. Therefore, you understand and take positive actions to fulfill your body's needs. Day by day in every way, you're getting better and better, healthier and healthier. Day by day in every way, you're getting better and better, healthier and healthier. There's this healing light, this healing energy stays within your body. You feel that warmth of that healing light within you. And every cell in your body is renewed, healed, and rejuvenated now. Every cell in your body has a perfect structure and functions to its full capacity now, filled up with the essence of love, health, and abundance. You are worthy. You are lovable, you belong, you are enough. And now imagine, sense, and feel that you have been in the future. Maybe you're out walking in a beautiful place in nature. Maybe you're with friends. But you are who you need to be. You feel that strength, health, and joy within yourself. And you see and feel yourself living with passion, richness, inspiration and pure joy. Observe yourself now in the future, living the life that you truly desire, feeling the health within your body, feeling the strength and the power within your body. Observe yourself now, living your life fully. Become aware of your body getting stronger each and every day, filled with happiness and inspiration. See yourself, become aware of yourself, socializing, living, enjoying, working and playing with health, happiness, and energy. See yourself looking so healthy, vibrant, vital, and strong. Become aware of that health and vitality and strength and power moving through your body now. Let all these good feelings flow. You are thriving, and you feel so much gratitude and joy in your feelings of well-being Increase more and more each and every day. Later on in the evening when you sleep so sound and deeply at night, your 
body and mind are renewing, rejuvenating, and restoring itself anew. Each and every one of your cells is renewed, healed, and rejuvenated now. Every cell in your body has a perfect structure and functions to its full capacity now, filled up with the essence of love, health, and abundance. And now it's time to leave this place. No, you can return here anytime you like, even if it's just for a few moments. Just count those three slow, easy, gentle, deep breaths in. Move relaxation through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and return to your mystical place, your magical place. A place where you can make perfect, positive lifestyle changes. And then feel that health and vitality and energy moving through your body. And you begin, you can begin to drift back to the room feeling refreshed, replenished, and energized as healing energy continues to flow throughout your whole body all day long. Your mind accepts all the suggestions given here and you experience the immediate healing transformation now. And in a moment when it's time to come out of hypnosis, your body, mind, and spirit will be renewed, rejuvenated, refreshed, and well-rested, and you'll feel confident, grounded, energized, and secure. As you move about your day, as you walk through your home and maybe walk around outside, you're aware of the permanent changes made here today. You know you have done well and have programmed your mind for success, relaxation, increasing your immune system. Notice how good it is to have made these changes. Take this time for yourself, for this self-care. Notice how good that feels. Become aware of how easy it is to move into this relaxation response just through the deep breathing, the three, two, one reset, or the four, six, eight. And know at any time you can just take a few minutes for the three, two, one reset. Three deep breaths in, two arms crossed, and one minute just to move into inner stillness. Or the four, six, eight, four deep breaths in, or four counting up to four on the inhale, counting down to six on the exhale for eight times. And as you become aware of the natural confidence deep within you, you effortlessly move your body into that parasympathetic nervous system, that relaxation response more and more each and every day. And all these ideas have made a permanent impression on your responsive subconscious mind. They become your everyday experience now. You feel joyful, free, and grateful that you use the power of your subconscious mind to reach your goals, to achieve your goals. This awareness, this feeling empowers you even more. It fuels the rapid growth of your already thriving life-health relationships. And now I'm going to count from one up to five and then say fully alert. As I do, bring yourself out of hypnosis on five. Open your eyes. You feel rested, refreshed, relaxed. And your mind accepts all the suggestions given here. And you experience the immediate transformation now. One, slowly, easily, and gently returning to your full awareness once again. Two, each muscle and nerve in your body feeling loose, limp, and relaxed. You feel wonderfully good. Three, from head to toe, feeling perfect in every way, physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. Four, your eyes beginning to feel sparkling clear as if bathed in school, cool spring water. And five, eyes open, fully aware and alert. And breathe in deep, move and stretch. Return to this present moment. Return to the room that you're in. Return to the air that you are breathing in the room, fully awake, fully alert, your eyes open, returning, feeling perfect in every way, physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. Uh, so welcome back. Um, if your body is taking a little time to come out of that deep, peaceful, hypnotic trance state relaxation meditation, uh, just allow your body to do what it needs to do. Uh, 
a lot of us are sleep deprived, we're not getting enough sleep, or we're finding it hard to sleep because of the stress. So your body may need that that rest, may need that uh, stay in that calm, comfortable state for a few minutes more. So we have about uh, um, seven, eight minutes left. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can throw it into the chat room. Uh, if you're on a, I'm not sure how you do it on a phone. Never done this on a phone. If you're on a computer, uh, if you put your cursor down at the bottom of the Zoom uh, screen, a uh, menu bar will come up and you'll see the chat room. Um, but uh, I do want to do one more process with you to, to show you how to do. This one is really amazing. This one's really cool. And uh, again, it's one of those ones that you, it just takes three to four minutes. Uh, it would be nice if we could all have 40 minutes uh, to do some sort of self-hypnosis practice, maybe listen to a guided visualization tape. Um, but sometimes you only have that at three or four minutes. And so the three, two, one reset, great one to do. The four, six, eight, um, counting uh, four on the inhale, counting six on the exhale for eight times. Uh, but this one is called uh, heart brain coherence. What's really fascinating about this is, uh, of course, we have neurons in our head, uh, brain cells in our head. Uh, these fire little electrical pulses to one another, and uh, that little electrical pulse creates an electromagnetic field. This is how we get those that great brain imagery techniques uh, that we see. They don't drill into your brain and put put a turkey thermometer in your, in your brain. They're just, they're looking at the electromagnetic field that's coming off your head because of all these electrical pulses. Every time you walk down the street, take a spoon to your mouth, think a thought, feel a feeling. Uh, you're, you're shooting these uh, electrical pulses. Uh, you all, There's about, I, I don't know the exact number, something to the effect of 100 billion, with a B, neurons in your head creating some something like three trillion connections in your head to pet neural pathways you also have neurons in your digestive system about a hundred million neurons in your digestive system so I, when people get emotionally upset uh they may get some digestive issues uh, or you know the the old saying go with your gut uh there are neurons in your gut in your digestive system Neurons that think, feel, and remember, just like in your head. About uh, the early 90s, uh, researchers found 40,000 neurons in your heart, brain cells in your heart, brain cells that think, feel, and remember in your heart. Now, of course, these are firing low electrical pulses and it's creating a magnetic, electromagnetic field around your, your heart area. Of course, uh, when I was going through school, they're, they're telling me that the brain was the command center of the body. Uh, there's this vagus nerve that comes from the, the back of your, it goes down the back of your neck, uh, down to your spinal cord, uh, attaches from your brain to your heart, and then branches out to uh, your other organs. They thought, well, the brain's command center is sending uh, signals to your different um, uh, organs, and this is you know how information gets around. Well, after all this research over the last uh, 30 years or so. What they find is more information goes from your heart up to your brain, about 80% more information. And this institute called HeartMath, strange name, but um, they've been studying the heart. Once this information came out, they formed this research institute, institute just to study the heart. And they've developed this uh, meditative exercise to bring the heart and the brain into coherence. And so the coherence is actually a frequency that can be measured of 0 0.01 hertz if you're into the science. Um, but by doing this, you move your body into that calm state. You move more uh, energy and power into that prefrontal cortex. So you have more uh, logical thinking, more intellectual thinking, not, not emotional thinking, more and uh, you actually open up about 1,300, that's 1300, 1,300 processes to strengthen the immune system, creating DHEA and precursors to hormones and all sorts of things. Um, and also I'll put over the chat room a website uh, on my, um, a page on my website where there's lots of science about this. There's no, not really a whole lot of time to, to go through all that. But I wanna show you how to do this process real quick. 
And what's interesting about this is that electrical magnetic field around the brain that they use to, you know, so you can get those cool images of the brain. It, they can measure about an inch off the head, but the electrical, uh, the electric magnetic field that they measure from the heart can be measured three to five feet from your body. Uh, one study even showed eight feet from the body, and that might just be the limitations of the equipment. Um, and this is that, you know, vibe that you may get from people. You walk into that meeting and there's a, you know, angry person and they're sitting off that uh, vibe in the room or the life of the party. You may be picking up on this heart electromagnetic field. Anyway, so let's do this real quick. I know we're kind of running late on time. We might go a little bit over time. But this process, you know, I'll explain it uh, as we go through it. So allow yourself to close your eyes. And again, we're going to do a deep breathing, that signal to your body that you are safe and secure. Move your body into a calm, natural, comfortable state. Breathing in deeply, easily, and gently. And exhaling slowly and easily. And as you breathe in, and put your attention on your heart. And if it's helpful for you, you can even place your hand on your heart where you place your touch, your attention goes to. So if it's helpful, you place your hand on your heart like maybe a Pledge of Allegiance or just a touch or a tap or I like uh, the tips of my fingers right there on the sternum. That helps me place my attention on my heart. Focus your breathing in and out of your heart. And bring in feelings. Bring in the emotional state of caring and compassion. Caring and ca compassion. Maybe visualize another person in your life. A, a pet, an animal in your life that you have deep feelings of caring and compassion for. Maybe recently or long ago, a person in your life, an animal, a pet in your life that you can feel deep feelings of caring and compassion for. Visualize that person, feel that emotion coming up within you. Now, on top of that, bring in deep feelings of gratitude. Deep feelings of gratitude. Gratitude maybe for another person in your life, an animal, a pet in your life that gives you that unconditional love all day long. Maybe a piece of advice or a, that you, someone you gave you a long ago that kind of opened your mind up to new ideas. Maybe a vacation, a trip you took. Deep feelings of gratitude. See that person or that event in your life, that animal. Feel those deep feelings of gratitude for all they've given you in your life, for that event gave you for your life. And when you're ready, bring your attention back to the room. Allow your eyes to open, come back to being fully aware and alert. And again, that's a, a process that, you know, the, to start opening up those 1300 processes and get to the, uh, that coherent frequency state takes about three, four minutes. Of course, you can do it for 10 minutes if you'd like. But again, something you can do in your car before work or before you, you come back, you know, come back into the house or for that big meeting or the, you know, going out with friends or family. Something to calm the system down, 
you know, uh, there's a lot of great research on this. I'm going to put over in the chat room a, a link you can go to um, that has the science behind this. It's really fascinating. Uh, if you just go to uh, my website, so I run uh, Arizona, Arizona Integrative Hypnotherapy, also California Integrative Hypnotherapy, uh, doing hypnotherapy, uh, all sorts of issues, including you know, trauma and anxiety and uh, health issues, healing acceleration, pain control. Uh, but if you want more information about that process in itself, and there's even a, a short recording, about a three-minute recording and also a 15-minute recording of that process, you can go to uh, this short link, which is just the initials for Arizona Integrative Hypnotherapy, which is aziht.com forward slash heart. And uh, just if you're kind of a science nerd like myself, um, tons of great science about the heart and about this process. Um, Run a little bit over time, but I so appreciate you taking your Saturday morning to be with me. We're going to be doing lots more of this, so keep your eyes on the meetup group and, uh, you know, be putting it out on Facebook and LinkedIn and Eventbrite and all that. And we're coming up uh, with some other programs during the week and, uh, and going to be hopefully doing a uh, one or uh, hopefully two uh, each week. They have different topics and things, things more about habits and uh, even dealing with money, stress, and, and all sorts of cool things. So um, hope to see you soon, and thank you all for being here. And I know you had you know probably 20 other things you could be doing, so I appreciate you spending the time with me this morning. And go out there, make it the best day of your life. And again, any questions whatsoever, uh, if you go back up to the chat room, uh, you'll see a Craig at azht.com is my email, or just go to the website, Arizona Integrative Hypnotherapy or California Integrative Hypnotherapy. You find out how to contact me. I love to talk about this stuff. And have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon, I hope. So, bye.